Weeks after a cargo ship collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, tragically killing six and shutting down one of the nation's busiest commercial port operations, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has validated plans to open a secondary limited access deep draft channel working with the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center, or ERDIC, and pilots from the region. While narrower and shallower, the bypass channel will soon allow large commercial vessels to enter and exit the port while not interfering with vital salvage operations. But before the first ship makes the transit, the new route and the placement of buoys was tested by Erdic's ship tow simulator. Currently, you know, the navigation channel is in, in Baltimore is authorized to 50 feet. And in this particular location, it's 700 feet wide. And so what the pilots are being asked to do is to leave that channel and go into an alternate channel that bypasses the incident area and then come back into the main channel on the other side of the accident area. And that's tricky, not only because they're making a turn, but because now the bypass channel, instead of being 700 feet wide, is 280 feet wide. So it becomes very tight. Working closely with engineers with USACE's North Atlantic Division and Baltimore District, and leveraging the expertise of world-class pilots from the Association of Maryland Pilots, Erdic's team conducted multiple days of simulations, testing variables with currents and weather. The first thing we did was, is we did daytime runs. So we want them to get, give them a look at the channel so they know what it looks like and they can get, kind of get a feel for what the maneuver is going to look like based on just being able to see everything. And then now we're going to turn the lights off, we're going to add the wind to it. And they're not just using their skills as far as, you know, giving commands to the helmsman, to, you know, when to turn, when to apply throttle, what have you, but they're also having to call back to the tow pilots and have tow pilots execute um, execute tug commands, so they're, they're, they're doing a bunch of things at once that they already do, but they do it in a wide channel. The feedback from the pilots has been used to better place buoys along the proposed navigation channel and provide mariners in the area critical information on how to best transit from the main channel into the bypass channel. We're collecting all the things they're saying and writing on these sheets for the runs, and so that gets collected and that gets collected into a report, and now that gets provided back to the sponsor and to the pilots. And so you know, they go back and anecdotally tell the pilots, hey, these are the things that you gotta watch out for and what have you, but oh, by the way, here's this report. I wrote everything down. They wanna make this work because this is important to them. Like I said, it's their home. They wanna make sure that, that we get things going again for the city of Baltimore. They feel the, the the weight of this because it's not just it's not just Baltimore. They realize that Baltimore is an access point for the nation for a bunch of things. USACE has plans to open the bypass channel by the end of April and the main channel by the end of May. By testing and validating the plans, Erdic has allowed USACE to move one step closer to those goals. The other main takeaway is is we prove the viability of the channel. I mean, you want to you want to give the pilots confidence this channel is, is feasible, that they can use this channel, and you want to give the port and the state of Maryland that comfort level as well as that, hey, if, if, if the simulations work out, the simulations show we have a viable channel, then yeah, we know we're going to be able to open this port sooner. One never wants tragedy to occur, because that's, that's definitely that's what happened here. But I'm, I'm so excited that we're able to help. I want, I want us to be able to help, and the fact that we can help and provide value back to the district, back to the nation, is just, you know, we, that's, that's why we get up in the morning sometimes.